Hey guys, Supervisory team here. And in this video, I want to show you how we recommend to store your development credentials. Credentials are essential when you want to communicate with the platform, either through app development or automating the platform to your needs. There are two variables that are necessary for this purpose, server address and API token. You can learn more about environment variables in our developer portal. I'll leave a link in the description. There are several ways you can store your credentials and some of them are simply not safe. And that's exactly what we're gonna focus on today. Let me demonstrate this to you with two examples. I will show you two ways of storing your credentials. And I will go ahead and say that we do not recommend the first way. And you'll see why in a second. All right, we have our example code here. This is just a simple script that uploads a picture to Supervisly. And uh, as you can see in this example, we just hard code the variables. Let's run the code. As you can see, this way definitely works, but it is very unsafe because you could accidentally commit the code to Git repository and share your API token to everyone. But there is a way to store your credentials both safely and conveniently. Environment file. In this example, we load our variables from the environment file. Here it is. Let's run the code and make sure everything works fine. This way of storing credentials is a lot more convenient and safer, especially if you want to work on more than one code. We certainly recommend it over the previous method, and every example in our developer portal will feature this approach. Now let me show you how to create the environment file from scratch. First step is to open your ID of choice, mine is VS Code, and create a new text file. Let's define our variables. Server address is the link to Supervisly instance you want to work with. Let's copy it directly from the browser address bar. Now, where can you find your API token? It's very simple, let me show you. Go to Supervisly, click on your profile, account settings, API token tab. Let's copy my token to the clipboard and paste it right here. Now we need to save the file. We recommend saving it in the home directory and naming it supervisely.env. Now click save. Now to make sure everything is right, I can go to the terminal, type cat supervisely.env and here I have my server address and API token. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to click the like button and if you have some questions left, leave them in the comments. I will answer them. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.